Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5070773 on your Windows 11 computer because of these error codes that is. So if you're receiving these error codes, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to retry. So when you update it, if you see retry option, click on retry, sometimes a simple retry option fixes the problem. If that does not work, you can pause and restart the update. Now for this, you can go to Windows Update and then over here you can see pause option, hit pause. And once paused, now click on resume updates and then you can check. Still not working, start these services. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click and then click on restart. Now find Windows Update, scroll down. Here you can see Windows Update, make a double click, set this to auto automatic over here. Apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Make a right click, click on restart. Now find background, intelligent transfer service, make a double click. Again, set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. Now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command over here. All the commands are provided in the video description. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan. It will take some time. In my case, I already ran it. Now once the first scan is 100% complete, copy the second command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now once the second scan is 100% complete, copy the third command and you can paste it on the same window. And once the third scan is 100% complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update. That is KB5070773. Click on search. And then over here, let me change the language. Now over here, uh, first of all, check your version. So type in W-I-N-V-E-R in Windows search box and then click on Winver run command. And then in my case, it's version 25H2 and then open Windows settings and then go to system and then go to about option and then check the system type. In my case, it's 64 bit. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2 X64 base system. This is the right one for me. And if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 X64, then this is the right one for you. So I will download this one. And then you will see KB5070773. Click on it. And you can, once the download is complete, you can click on this file, follow the on-screen instruction, and you can install this update manually. Once done, restart the computer, and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using windows update option now for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on uh, sorry go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here scroll down go to recovery option over here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done restart your computer and then you will see the repair version of version 25H2. Once this is done, now you can try to install the update and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then you can run this exe file. Run this exe file. When you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on accept over here. And then click on by default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on Next. 
select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop, save, and then let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once done, click on finish option and then let this close automatically. Do not close this manually. It will close in few seconds or maybe a minute. Then go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file over here and then make a double click on setup file, run the setup file, click on yes to allow and then click on next and then click on accept over here and then ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can try to update your windows 11 so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this uh, errors and then you should be able to install this update successfully so that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.